Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome, welcome to the Gamer Channel. You already know who it is. Guys, we're gonna talk about the build uh, by the wizard called U Cody one Now, in this wizard, there's quite a few builds in here. Uh, I was looking at it yesterday currently because I was trying to find a girly build for my girlfriend. And in the process, I ended up finding this build called the Karen build, which I think is pretty awesome. And yes, in case you're wondering, I didn't actually find her build for her. I just ended up coming across this build and uh, I thought I would share it with you guys. Because you know, I'm always, always trying to see what's the latest and greatest thing out there. Now, mind you, I think this build has been out there for a while. This is the first time I come across it. And uh, I really like the overall look and the simplicity of it. So let's get into it. Uh, let me show you what it consists of. Hope you guys like it. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. This is the build right here. Very simple. As you can see here, we have our movies. And if you press down, you got your search, your 4K movies in theater, so on and so forth. Go into uh, TV shows, same concept. You can bring it down and it gives you a little uh, prompt of what they has in the bottom of it. So that's pretty cool. We have the kids section. Same old stuff, guys. Just keep going down. And if it asks you for an update like it shows here, just hit it one time and hopefully it'll do what it needs to do. Uh, also, you have your sports section. Same thing, your live TV. Good thing about here is if you have an account with Supreme uh, TV or Gears TV or even Reloaded, you can put your account information in this build and use it directly from there. You got your favorite sections, you have your settings, and then when you're in your movie section, you can bring it up and you have your movie icons as you see there. You can hit any of these icons. Of course, it'll take you directly to whichever add-on is using to give you the movie source then you know what to do from there find your link and you're good to go same with the tv shows uh it should have a section on the tv shows where you just bring it up i guess it doesn't so you have to just hit it when you hit it it'll obviously do its thing like it's doing right now as soon as it's uh ready to go guys you will see your uh tv show sections right i'm not gonna spend too much time in there in your kit zone you have you know your icons in the top pick your movies same thing as uh what you saw a little while ago pretty cool one of the things I realized about this build is that sometimes it, there's a little delay when you're moving inside the build. You just got to be a little patient, guys. You see, I just went into the TV shows and all of a sudden it actually took it. Um, so just be patient. And uh, overall, the build is pretty awesome. It looks great. It moves fairly fast. Uh, one of the things that I also want to remind you guys of, remember that the builds are they're made by certain developers and we want to stick to the developers that are actually um, staying up to date with the latest add-ons that work because if they don't do what they're supposed to do or what we would want them to do when we put these builds on our Cody and uh, update this stuff then we're basically stuck with a skin that looks great but no no links or add-ons that work so you want to keep that in mind so you want to stick to developers that are actually going to be keeping up to date with the latest and greatest when it comes to add-ons. I always talk to you guys about all the builds that I like and I particularly use. I've never used this one before. I just came across it. I think it looks great for right now. Uh, that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. I hope that the developer is up to date with everything that goes on with Cody or the add-ons. So, that's basically what the build consists of. I mean, guys, if you want to uh, install it, uh, stay tuned. I will show you how to do that. So, all right, so let's get into it, guys. Here we go. Let's go and find our Droid Admin. 
If you don't have your Droid Admin, I have videos in there on how you can download it and install it into your system. Just check my playlist or the most recent video. This is my code. Put in my code, guys. And there is where we're going to go. As soon as we get into there, as you already know, um, these are some of the APKs that I have, but we are going to find the repository that I have here because I like to cut all the red tape from you guys so that way you don't have to do any of the work. So let's move this right along. This is the great thing about recording it before we actually go into the tutorial. I can forward it. So this is it right here, guys. You coding one repo. You hit it one time. Once you hit it, all you're going to do is back up. Back up and find your coding. There goes my number one more time. Let's go into coding. All right. Let Cody load up as usual. You know how that works. Let's get into this. Okay, so let's go here to our add-ons. Bring it down. We're going to go here where it says install from repository. Sorry, my big head is in the way. And you're going to hit the two dots. Hit that. It'll bring you to the page that we need. So we're going to go here, install from zip file. Once you go in there, if this is your first time, you have to go into settings and you have to uh, click on unknown sources. You're going to say yes to that after you click it. After that is done, we're going to move right along and we're going to go right back, press back, go back into install from zip. Go into external storage. Once you go in there, guys, you're going to go to the bottom. Remember, you are looking for file link, not for Droid Admin, because that's not the name of it anymore. So you see I have Droid Admin, but that's not where you're going. You're going to file link. Download. And here you're going to find the plugin of UK or UCoding 1.zip. Hit that one time. And behind my big head, you should see the logo right here. Okay. So now it's ready to go. Just give it a second. Dismiss right here. Go into continue. Go into builds. And now you're going to find the Karen build. Look at all the builds they have here. They have quite a few. I purposely went in here looking for one particular build for Jessica, my girlfriend. And I um, must confess, I, instead of looking for the Tundra build, which is that one you just saw, uh, I ended up coming across uh, the Karen build uh, because I like it. I, I just wanted to check it out. I was curious. And um, I really, really do think it's a nice looking build. So you're going to find that. You're going to hit it one time. Guys, I got to confess also that when I downloaded this the first time around, it gave me some problems. It took a while before everything started loading up. And then when it finally loaded up, it told me that the wizard had a update. I hit the update and it just froze on me and it started kicking me out. So if that happens to you guys, remember all you have to do is go into your apps. All right, so before I keep going, guys, uh, right here, you're going to go into fresh install. Once you hit fresh install, you're going to hit continue. That's what's going on there. Okay. If the build starts freezing up on you guys when you get it on there, like I'm saying right now, what you need to do is go into your settings and your apps, uh, force stop it, like I've shown you many a times, and after you force stop it, clear cache. So let's go back into this. And as you can see right now, it erased all the stuff that I had in the background. Now it's actually going to download. We've done this process before, and after it downloads, it's going to install. Guys, this is always the same thing every time. It runs on your internet. So let's move it right along. And after it is done, you're going to say force close. It'll close it for you. 
Then you're going to find Cody again. Go into Cody. You're going to restart it. And now the build should take a hold. All right, so now the build should be, you know, basically connecting. Everything should be doing what it needs to do in the background. As I told you before, let it do its thing. Do not move within the build as it's trying to upload all these files and trying to download and go to the uh, best update of every add-on. So right here in the bottom, you're going to see all the changes that it is going to be making as it does its updates and downloads and all that other stuff. So make sure you let that do its thing before you move with, within it. And again, guys, if you're having any issues for whatever reason, like I said, all you have to do is go into your settings. I'm in my NVIDIA Shield. I'm going to go into apps. And in the apps, I'm going to find the application that's giving me the problem. In this case, if it is Cody, you're going to hit Cody. You're going to force stop it. You're going to clear cache. You're going to say OK on force stopping. You're going to go here to clear cache. And you're going to also say OK to that. And then you go right back into the uh, application. Once you go back into the application, it's going to do a quick as you see there in the bottom, it's going to start all over again. So whatever issues you have or you had should fix itself uh, right then and there. If it does not fix itself, guys, all you have to do is see right there It's giving me problems for whatever reason. So I suggest if you have that problem, all you got to do is basically uh, just go into Cody. All right. Go into Cody and uninstall Cody or reinstall it, or you can go back. And this is what I do. If it's ha if it's giving me problems, trust me, I did it today. I had to do it two or three times because for some reason the build was not taking. So I can go into Cody, right? And what I'm going to do is I want to go here into where it says clear data so when you clear data what you're doing is you're taking the whole entire bill off everything off completely you'll be starting from scratch but that's what you have to do sometimes when things are not working and mind you it shouldn't be a big deal because i made it easy for you guys so once you uninstall it i'm going to uninstall it right now just to show you it's going to be a clear coat of cody by itself and it's really simple the same thing, the same process I just did. When you go in it, let me see if I can go in it. The reason why I'm not going in it is because you see there the process is still going. So once it's completed completely, I should be able to go into Cody. Uh, and I will have obviously nothing in it. And all you got to do is go through the same process one more time, find the repository from where we went a little while ago. So when you go back in there and you see that obviously it wasn't working for you, uh, you go right back in it, you do the same process again, guys, and you should be good to go. So we're gonna go back into add-ons. From add-ons, we're going to go into Install from zip, remember? Install from repository, I'm sorry. You're gonna stay in the dots. You're gonna hit the dots. You're gonna go into install from zip. Again, it's going to ask you the same thing. You're going to make sure the unknown sources is on. You're gonna press back. You're gonna go again into install from zip. You're gonna go into external storage, find file link, all right? Go in it, and you're going to find the plugin once again. And you're going to restart the process one more time, and hopefully after that, it'll start working for you. That is all you have to do in case you come across any problems. All right, guys? Guys, I appreciate, as always, you guys always, always checking me out. Uh, staying tuned to everything that I put up there. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you haven't. 
hit the bell icon so that way you are notified every time I upload a video. Guys, I hope you have a good Sunday. I'll see you guys in the next one.